Hey guys, welcome back to the third jQuery chart in ASP.NET video tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the next two chart controls that is chart.html that is pie chart and a column chart that is the old version of Google API. Right? So but before that in my last video we couldn't able to show you the legend with a text name so last example was like this okay like this we could not assign a name to this but I have to I researched some and I got a very simple properties which is listed in Google API's that is label in legend L A B E L sorry L A B E L label in L A G E N D legend okay this is the second series and uh, the same way we have to assign in the third series third series now just refresh this page by pressing control F5 it will show the text for oops again it's not displaying that is series label in legend L E G E N D label in legend okay this is the second series third series but we still couldn't uh, assign the name for the first series so for that you have to assign a zero series and uh, after that a curly brace and a, a, a level in region the first series and then don't forget to assign a comma otherwise it will not display anything guys we done this now just click on the first it will automatically get selected the first series for the second and for the third okay at once you can highlight it the particular series so I hope you guys now have understood how you can do the stuff or now if you want to do more on this chart so just visit the Google chart API options where you can get all the details about the all the chart controls so coming back to the, our next two chart controls that are pie chart and uh, column chart okay let me run the first pie chart just click on the chart it will show you the pie chart now this is the 3d chart okay uh, here you can distribute we have distributed some partition and the legend which describes all the stumps okay so uh, but before that let me show you the code how it works okay but let me change one thing that is this property I'm gonna remove right now and we'll show you the result okay this is the normal chart which is a 2d chart for the pie chart okay it's a very simple guys so here first of all we have imported a JS API and the core chart package with a set callback function which is a draw chart created a data table with the two columns one is string and the other is numbers okay topping and slices after that we have assigned the two elements that is mushroom 8 percentage of a particular details okay you can assign only two columns for this kind of chart okay and after that we have assigned a title that is here and uh, height and width you can also assign here okay don't forget to assign the pixel otherwise it will give you the warnings right guys and after that we have used a pie chart assign a div and after that we have assigned a add event listener for the chart by select select handler that means whenever any portion I'm selecting I'm calling actually the select handler right the select handler will give you the details which part you have selected 
so if I click on the 15 part so the user selected that is the mushroom suppose user clicking on the pepperon pepperoni then it will show the like that right this effect is also coming from the legend as well so now the important one is that is most of user lots of user wants their chart in 3d okay so the pie chart is supported 3d so here is the property that is is 3d is equals to true it's done now your chart is going to display in 3d form just like the first one right isn't it nice we haven't done any big task or big things and it will use uh, the proper uh, UI or you can say the perfect things with the help of jQuery right guys okay now coming to the next chart that is a column chart okay this is the very simple chart again I'm gonna remove this property from here and uh, clicking on column chart old okay this is a very simple 2d chart okay as I have showed you in the bar chart okay if we talk about the bar chart this is also a column we can also say this is the column chart right so but the difference is uh, the column chart old is a deprecated which is not uh, going to update anymore Google is not going to update these kind of charges anymore okay so they are updating only the bar chart this is the latest one okay but uh, the latest one doesn't support for the 3d and the old one is supported for the 3d so here if you assign the is 3d property to true it will give you the 3d effect in your column chart like this right guys and as usual the data is the same series you have to manage different differences sales and expenses width whatever you can option give the options title company name height width nothing is different to manage this right guys I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial for the two chart two important chart that is pie chart and uh, column chart which is both are 3d enabled but don't forget that uh, the, the column chart old is now is not going to update it by the google it's deprecated so the last versions if you want to use in your chart you can use this but it's better to use the latest one because in it uh, they have uh, lots of features but doesn't support for 3d okay you have to sacrifice 3d for that right guys so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial next video tutorial we're gonna talk about the combo chart and extra dot HTML okay that is very simple things it's a combo chart okay adding multiple things in a single chart and uh, in an extra chart we are going to see the 3 different parts with the maps and all that right that means whenever the selection is done it will the map will get automatically shifted to particular position okay this is going to interesting this is a little bit interesting to handling how you can manage the maps based on your latitude and longitude right guys so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can get all the video tutorials on my website that is infologs.in for free so just to practice be a master of chart controls thank you for watching bye bye